Think fentanyl is scary? Meet its psycho cousin, nitazines, a drug up to 40 times deadlier than fentanyl, hiding in counterfeit pills, often resistant to Narcan, and waiting for one mistake. This isn't a horror movie, it's happening now. Like and subscribe to Mindscape, because today we're diving into the deadliest drug you've never heard of. Here's the twist. Nitazines aren't some new cartel creation. They were actually cooked up in the 1950s by pharmaceutical researchers looking for a stronger painkiller. They succeeded. Too well. The drugs were so powerful and so unpredictable that no legitimate company wanted them. They got shelved and forgotten until illegal chemists unearthed the recipe and saw dollar signs. Let's talk about power. Morphine is the classic painkiller. Fentanyl? Already 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. That alone is terrifying. Now nitazines step in. Some versions are 40 to 50 times stronger than fentanyl. To put it in perspective, the amount that can kill you could fit on a single grain of salt. One slip, one counterfeit pill, and suddenly you're not just taking a risk, you're gambling with your life. The real nightmare is that nitazines don't come labeled. Dealers are mixing them into counterfeit Xanax, Percocet, and even fake ADHD meds. People think they're taking something mild and safe, when in reality they're swallowing a chemical sledgehammer. To make it worse, fentanyl test strips can't detect nitazines. That means you could test your pill, think it's safe, and still end up overdosing. And this isn't just a theoretical danger. In the US, young people in their early 20s have died after taking what they thought were normal painkillers that turned out to be laced with nitazines. In Australia, researchers tested used syringes and found 5% contained nitazines, yet 84% of users had no idea they had taken them. Imagine believing you know your dose, only to discover your veins are filled with a drug designed to drop an elephant. What about Narcan, the overdose antidote? Here's the bad news. Nitazines are so intense that a single dose often isn't enough. First responders sometimes need to use multiple sprays, and in certain cases, Narcan doesn't even work. Picture trying to put out a raging wildfire with a spray bottle. That's what battling a nitazine overdose can feel like. So what's the solution? Scientists are developing nitazine-specific test strips so people can finally identify when they're at risk. Harm reduction advocates are pushing for supervised consumption facilities where overdoses can be reversed immediately. And then there's the obvious, more Narcan. It needs to be everywhere. Carry it, use it, save lives. One spray might not be enough, but it could buy the precious minutes that make the difference between life and death. At the big picture level, nitazines aren't just another drug trend. They're fentanyl in God mode, a synthetic nightmare that has outpaced the tools designed to fight it. The reality is brutal. One fake pill can be fatal, but awareness is power. Share this information. Test anything you take. Carry Narcan. And never assume your local dealer's chemistry is anywhere close to the precision of a pharmaceutical lab. Stay smart. Stay alive. This is Mindscape, where we shine a light on the darkest corners of science and society. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next deep dive. Knowledge might not get you high, but it just might save your life.